Since you're in a lawn and garden center, you just might be planning to buy some fertilizer or pesticide. If so, you should watch this. What you learn might save you time and help keep your lawn healthy and environmentally friendly. Did you know that every time it rains, runoff from farmland, lawns, city streets, construction sites, and other land flushes unhealthy substances into our waterways? This runoff becomes polluted when it picks up man-made hitchhikers, such as fertilizer and lawn chemicals. This pollution can cause serious problems for fish and other creatures in the Chesapeake Bay. Your lawn is one of millions draining into rivers and streams that feed the bay. Taken as a whole, these lawns yield substances that can harm life in the bay. Fortunately, there are some simple ways you can control this runoff and improve your lawn's health. A lawn fertilized at the right time and right way can help clean up our rivers and the bay. The first step is to find out how big your lawn is in square feet. How else could you know how much fertilizer or pesticide to use? Use a yardstick to measure your stride, then pace off the width and length of each section of your yard. Determine the area of each of your yard sections by multiplying the length times the width. Add all the areas and you will have the total area of your yard in square feet. Next, you need to get a soil analysis. You can get an easy to use soil sample kit from your extension office or a garden supply center. The results will tell you how much plant food your lawn needs. Now you need to pick the right fertilizer. Have you ever wondered what the three numbers on fertilizer bags mean? They represent percentages of the products nitrogen, phosphorus, and potash. For example, 100 pounds of fertilizer labeled 1648 has 16 pounds of nitrogen, 4 pounds of phosphate, and 8 pounds of potash. A 50 pound bag would have half this amount. As a rule, don't apply more than one pound of nitrogen, the first number, to every 1,000 square feet in any month, or more than 3.5 pounds over the year. Also, most lawns need little or no phosphorus, which can pollute water. Unless your soil analysis shows that phosphorus is needed, use a fertilizer with a small middle number, such as 2527 or 2337. It's time to apply the fertilizer. You know how much to use because you've done a soil test, measured your lawn, and read the fertilizer numbers on the bag. If your spreader has preset calibrations for the given product, set the spreader accordingly and put it down. If not, spread only a little at a time so you don't run out before you've put down the proper amount. Store leftover fertilizer in a dry place for the next scheduled application. Generally, it's best to fertilize when your lawn is actively growing. Avoid applying in the late fall and winter. Plants use little or no fertilizer then, and the likelihood of runoff is greatest. A good rule to follow is, if the grass is brown, don't put it down. Be careful not to apply fertilizer to frozen ground, sidewalks, or driveways, because these areas are prone to runoff. You can also help prevent pollution by carefully handling spilled fertilizer and other lawn chemicals, making sure you don't leave them where they might wash away. Leave grass clippings on your yard rather than raking or bagging them. This recycles nutrients in the clippings to your lawn, and you'll spend less time working on your lawn. Next time you buy a mower, think about a mulching mower. Regarding pesticides, make sure you know what weed or pest you're trying to get rid of so you buy the right product. Carefully read and follow all label instructions for product use, and consider more natural control options. Obviously, we can't tell you everything about responsible lawn care in four minutes. That's why we've written this brochure. Get a copy from this store and read it. Clean water and healthy lawns can exist together quite nicely. It's simple. Just give your lawn only what it needs when it needs it. You can have a high-quality, disease-resistant lawn that saves you time in the long run.